Multiple budget committee requests. Yeah, Mr. Chairman, if I may, Mark, do you care if I do a little summary first? No, uh, I was just going to say if the board wanted until you had a full board to take this up, it could be put off for a week. Okay. We have a quorum. Yeah, it's up yeah. to you. Go ahead. I really, number one, I mean, that is to have Mark go to an April meeting, which I'll let him address that. That's his own schedule. But number two, I want to say, I actually talked with Steve LeBranch, and he's telling me he wouldn't have no interest to even bother to try to reach out to Steve Buckley at NHMA. He'd rather just, you know, if he had a legal question, go to town council and ask. So I just want to let the board know that. I think that would work out a lot easier for everyone. And then as far as the NHMA going to a budget committee meeting and having a 91A. Can I just ask you, could you read each one? You went one and oh, two. I'm sorry. The All public right. might not realize what we're talking about. All right, so for number two, members of the budget committee had requested that we allow Steve LeBranch as chairman to be able to direct NHMA legal counsel. Well, in talking with Steve LeBranch, he said he probably would not ever do that and would prefer if he had a legal question to just go to town council and ask or call or email or however they want to communicate. Um, number three, uh, the Board of Selectmen would inquire as if not NHMA could come to their May meeting and do a presentation similar to what's happened in prior years, talking about 91A, all different types of issues budget committee, uh, legal requirements, what what their functions are, what they're not. And also talking with Stephen LeBranch, we thought maybe it would be better if Mr. Manager, we do have one, the town is allowed to have one meeting for free. Yes, that's correct. From NHMA, that's that correct. maybe there could be a board of selectmen request to have a meeting for everyone in town that would like to attend, all elected officials department heads whoever like to go and you know the budget committee obviously if they like to attend and go over all issues 91a anything that anyone's not sure about so I would like to maybe present that as the request after speaking to the chairman and also there was a legal invoice received for attorney Gould out of Concord <coughs> that they would like to request that our town council perhaps call attorney gold on since we were under the impression we wouldn't be getting billed for anything and then the final request was that board of selectmen allow steve LeBranch's budget committee chair to meet directly with the board of selectmen chair and the town manager on appointment but again after talking to Ch the chairman of the budget committee and I would feel that it would probably just be better that we keep the same procedures we had in place last year as far as requests go. But I want to formally request these items to the Board of Selectmen in this public meeting, and I will let Town Council address number one. Uh, number one um, talks about a, uh, some sort of presentation at the April 18, 2017 meeting. I'm actually out of state at that time, and that, that, that particular meeting won't work on my end. It's been a hard uh, winter and spring in terms of schedule and so forth, and uh, I'm needing a break. So uh, if that's all right with the board. Um, it's my understanding that what some members desire is that not so much a training but a open public session where there is a analysis of these emails, which the board has thankfully relieved me of having to do. Mm -hmm. Uh, what is needed is that is a training session in the context of a non-meeting with legal counsel where I can give them advice as to uh, with some examples but not a full blown inquiry as to uh, proper use of uh, email correspondence but again not at the meeting on April 18th Rusty well <clears throat> I, I think we ought, the, the Board of Selectmen ought to get a hold of the NHMA, have a meeting, it will be our meeting, it doesn't necessarily have to be on a Monday night, but we invite all members of elected boards to come in and discuss it. I think um, if there are any other questions that I think both the Budget Committee and us have said enough's enough, What's done? Let's 
if there are if there's some emails in question obviously they already have all the emails anyways but if if he would like if the town council would like to send them a list of the emails that you felt they were and then they could bring that back they could come up and talk about it at that meeting with the NHMA I don't think you need to be there at that any of that uh, so I think that's and then we just move forward Mr. Bean yes sir uh, this board has voted on lines of communication I think it's effective that's why we have um, our liaison to each committee that that's effective uh, you, you move away from that it's mayhem it's been voted it's board procedure it's served this town well and when we haven't uh, um, followed that uh, mayhem follows so I uh, am in support of that continuing education for anybody that cannot master uh, the uh, um, fairly simple uh, uh, requisites of holding legal meetings and communications on the board I'm all for that and sometimes uh, there are different uh, learning curves for those happy to do that uh, the four hundred and twenty five dollars I'm looking at this memo that's been prepared uh, my opinion has been clear on that it was not a legal expenditure uh, it was uh, uh, messed around with with the date and uh, for us to authorize any town funds for something that was not done legally uh, would make us complicit. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, all right, my, my feeling is uh, the same, that we have procedures for communication which are fine. They work fine. There, there's no problem with them. There's no backup. Uh, on the meeting with NHMA, if we have one training session, I can't see using it for one board. I think we did that before, but I think we should open it up to the whole, every board in town, every member, department heads, so the people can come and have the meeting and go over it. I think that's more inclusive than not. And uh, you have told them, though, which they do know which emails were considered to be a violation. I've uh, given the board the interim verbal report and was going to give specific examples at a training session. They gave emails to to uh, this board, which I looked at a portion of. Right, but I mean, do you feel it's necessary, or do you feel that you could just say this this one, this one, and this one were violations, or you felt were violations, without going into a whole meeting? I think uh, examples can be provided. There are actually an outstanding right to low law request that I intend to respond to in a okay. week or so. So those will be done. Right. Right. And on the the bill. I agree on the bill that it was it's not a legal contract nobody here signed a legal contract nobody Correct. here engaged a, a legal firm to uh, right any legal and advice. That, I think they're not asking you know they don't think the budget committee doesn't think it should be paid either but I think they were just wondering if town council wouldn't mind calling attorney Gould because there was communication saying there wouldn't be any bills and that did go to you, correct? Correct. So they were just wondering if they could maybe he could follow up on it. Okay. I, don't mind. Why a bill I don't mind following up. Why we're getting a bill versus when they told us there wasn't going to be yeah. one. Right. I don't okay. mind following up on that. Okay. I'd like to know why as well. All right, good. So do we need a, a mo we don't need a motion or a vote on that, do we? I think it sounds like the board's in consensus to me. Right. So we'll, so we should plan a, a meeting. A meeting. A, 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 with the NHMA that's a Board of Selectmen's meeting that will have a training session and will invite all elected and public officials. Yeah. I think that's that's the consensus, yes? Yes, sir. All right. Anything Thank else? You. Thank you. No. Thank you.